one person who can have a real negative impact on the whole big picture if they choose, if they just lose focus can have concrete steps or small steps uh, and that is all actually the the challenge is finding what those steps are what creates conflict is what we want to attack in order to get peace isn't it So we're here today to learn from each other about how we can make schools in England um, sort of peace-generating places. Um, because in society at the moment, as we all know, there's quite a lot of conflict. And the world is quite hectic for children in terms of all the stresses that they're under. It's also very hectic for staff. And this is really looking at how we can transform that and make um, schools like places that actually children and staff want to, want to be, want to, want to stay. Um, teachers don't leave the profession quite as much as they do. And so it's looking at what does that mean? What does peace mean? First of all, what do we mean by peace? When we go around talking to uh, teachers or senior management in schools about what we do, the issues they're coming up with are things like low-level conflicts that are constantly disrupting learning, or children not getting on, uh, hurtful language being used, maybe racist, maybe homophobic language, um, some children being isolated, obviously we know about problems of bullying. So there's these sort of low-level Emotion, issues around emotional intelligence or around um, a sense of not having healthy, safe relationships in schools. I can talk to young people and adults um, at great length in terms of how violence characterises their lives or how they understand violence or what's happening in their school or their classroom or their community that's violent. But the moment I reframe that and start having conversations based around the word peace, suddenly it's a little bit more challenging, which to me just demonstrates the fact, as, as I sort of said before in, when I was discussing the idea of peace, we don't exist in a culture that necessarily promotes the values of peace. So the first thing for me is just to explicitly say what we're doing here is learning how to make peace or learning how to keep peace or learning how to build peace. Um, then I think it's about creating safe environments. So it's creating safe environments where people feel able to um, express their thoughts, maybe explore different ideas, explore different concepts. And we can do that through dialogue, we can do that through drama, we can do that through activities. We put together a programme of training for everybody in the school community. So this would be with the children, um, with the teachers, the teaching support staff, the lunchtime supervisors, governors, eventually parents, to look at how they cooperate, how they communicate, um, and develop a rest shared restorative language so that when things go wrong, there is a way to put things right. And the children love the games and just see it as, as playing, but they're actually learning through the playing about how to give eye contact or how to listen or how to be quiet, um, how to cooperate with people they don't usually work with. So we're developing a range of skills. Um, I'll just list some of them, like listening skills, cooperation skills, problem solving, um, affirmation, um, anger management, and understanding, crucially, how conflict works, how it escalates in a school, and what you can do to try and bring the level down. So this is skills that children themselves can do. So that's my passion, my, my commitment is to a peaceful world, to bringing about that change, to have that dream become a reality.